Hello and welcome to the beautiful Cebu City here in the Philippines. And we're just getting the remnants of a tropical storm. It's been raining the past week, but I have managed to get out and show you guys a little bit of the city, mostly the old part of town, which while it's fun, while it's uh, great people, the food's amazing, it does look a bit dodgy. It is a poor neighborhood. Today, I'm gonna show you how the other half live. I wanna show you condo living in the Philippines. And it's unique here. Those condos right there, that bunch, they all have a mall at the base, a giant mall, a mega mall. It has everything you could possibly need. And if you were to live in those condos, you could live there and never actually need to go outside. Everything is in that mall. So we're gonna go take a look, but before we do, let me show you my place, to give you an idea. So I'm paying currently $33 a night for this one bedroom condo on the 46th floor. So just over 900 a month, but that is on a daily basis. And looking online, you can get a place like this with incredible views like this for about 600 a month. And for maybe seven, 800 a month, you can get one of these that's attached to a mall. Made it through security and I am actually in the mall. I'm in this park area on the first floor. And I think it's a good place to start the tour. You can get an angle of some of the condos that are actually attached to this mall. You can see some of the restaurants. We have uh, some American representation here. We got a TGI Fridays. There's a Texas Roadhouse, but then we have uh, some Japanese restaurants, sushi, coffee places. Let's uh, cut across here and head on in. And here we have more restaurants, someone walking their dog. TGI Fridays. And this whole center area is under construction. Last time I was here, it was a wide open courtyard with escalators and there was one day there was live music there. Another day there was a celebrity signing. There's a lot of activities here. And you're gonna notice a lot of stores you recognize, some you won't, but it is huge. And as you can see, it's many, many stories tall and it just winds on and on. And like I mentioned before, not a lifestyle that I find appealing. In fact, as we walked by TJ Fridays, it was the same group of expats that were sitting there the other day. And I went in, sat at TGI Friday's bar and had a beer. And in the five minutes that I was there, the conversation was how good and affordable the steaks are at Texas Roadhouse, how women take forever to shop. And then the conversation turned to Everyone went around the bar and confessed what they set their thermostat to. Yeah. I wanted to reach, reach, reach for a fork and just gouge my eyes out. And here we are. I'm actually surprised I found it this quickly. We are at the Metro Supermarket. So if you live in one of these condos, you come down here. This is where you do all your grocery shopping. And it has a huge, huge produce section, all different types of grapes, apples, pears, envy apple, green apple, Korean pears, Fuji apple, fragrant pears, red apple, yeah, something for everyone. Some pre-made sushi boxes, all at a very reasonable price. Different types of melons, plantains, bananas, durian, cantaloupe, 
watermelon, a lot, a lot of options. And here you can get some fresh chicken, some fresh pork, which looks delicious. As we come over here, we are in the meat section. And it's a long, long meat section. Beef feet, interesting. Scoop some ground beef, some extra thick bacon. All looks so delicious. Look at that rack of ribs. Now we have our chicken, our chicken wings, chicken breasts, chicken intestine, chicken feet, chicken heads. Look at all those chicken heads. Marinated chicken, ground chicken, gizzards, and now we're into the fish. All types of fish and shrimp. There's some salmon, here's some whole fish. Look at these squid, are those awesome or what? And then we have more shrimps, different types of shrimps. All different types of eggs, lunch meats, salted eggs, the red ones, quail eggs. A lot of the same products that we have back in the US. And of course we have hard seltzers and beer and wine, whiskey, cognac, rum, tequila, all types of mixers. It really is a one-stop shop. As you can see, that grocery store is very well stocked. Everything and anything you need, food-wise, is probably there. And things you never saw before. But let's head back into the small. No? Okay, he's telling me to turn the camera off. So I will pretend like I'm turning the camera off until I get around this corner. Okay. So it's like a city unto itself. You can live here and never actually step outside. And hopefully the security guy is not behind me. I will take a look when I get up here so as not to be obvious about it. And we're good. Why you can't videotape in a mall, I don't know. It's a public place. I think he's just a little power hungry. See some escalators this way. You can see this way, this way, this way. There's so many directions. Here's a little space adventure, mine museum, kind of a kids thing here. which is good. There are a lot of retired foreigners, older men, that live here. And they are married to younger Filipino women with kids. So they're in their 60s, 70s, and they are back raising kids. Raising kids in the mall. A dentist. So you can get your dental work done here. There's actually a doctor's office, too. Someone else walking her cute little doggies. Yeah, I guess you would just head on down your elevator from your condo with your dogs, walk them around the mall. Very odd. But again, I get it. If you're older, maybe disabled, and uh, about and you don't like outside you, you hate outside and I I guess this would make sense but um, I'll repeat not a lifestyle that I think I would enjoy at all I am uh, officially lost it did not take long oh, so my I need to chill I was editing videos last night 
and I noticed that this um, rice and beer diet that I've been on for the past uh, past month isn't doing me any favors. So let's uh, try and skip the rice at least for a day. It's almost impossible. And here you go. If you ever miss the outside world, you can come look at it from one of these many windows. See what life's like for people that drive still, that aren't afraid of the rain or the heat. And let's head up another level. And on these floors that we're exploring, we are covering a fraction, a fraction of territory. They go, they just go on forever. So it's electronics as far as you can see. Ah, Huawei. Huawei, a company we're not allowed to have in the U.S. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, thank you. We have an up escalator here through the construction zone. Let's go for it. And another thing, so a lot of um, a lot of women here in Cebu City, they know there's a lot of single men here also live in this condo mega mall lifestyle, and uh, they uh, come here to pick up men. It's known as the best place in Cebu City to meet women, and I have never been here without being approached. Of course, my streak will end now because I have the camera on, but every single time I'm approached. The great angle of the actual size of this small. It goes on and on forever. Both sides. And then down this way, we actually have travel agencies, Western Union. FedEx shipping, DHL. So, yeah, you can get a lot, lot done in here. Movie theater, of course. And a huge, huge food court. Has a Dairy Queen, Dim Sum, the Sean. Fun to seating. There's all types of dining in here. There's a uh, fast food, there's casual dining in the mall, and there's even some high end dining in the mall. It's actually one of my favorite places to eat here in Cebu. We have all different soups, the salted eggs, roasted grilled squid, fish, our fish dishes, chicken, hello. Some traditional Filipino food, which looks really good. traditional style foods, seafoods, all fried, fried rices, different vegetables, some beefs, some weird looking puddings. And all these stews look amazing. We seem to have a little break from the rain, but here's some more of the high-end type restaurants. And a Chili's, and a Chili's to boot. You can see we're now this isn't even in the mall. Now we're like getting into the condo sections down here. It's just insane. There's a hotel. There's a hotel with a swimming pool here somewhere. Unless you want, I'll give you the money to go downstairs. No, I'll 
Well, there you have it. Condo living in Cebu City in the mall. It's, uh, it's definitely a lifestyle. Like I said before, not one for me, but I understand it. Now let's, uh, let's get out of here and go, go have some real fun. Ciao.